Hi, this is Tomas from Geekseller. In this video, we will go through simplified steps on how to keep track of your Walmart sales in QuickBooks. We use Walmart as an example, but the technique can be used to book other channels as well. If you are looking for more comprehensive steps, please check the link in the description. We would also like to point out that this video should not be considered as a tax advice. It was created only to show one possible way to do bookkeeping using QuickBooks. Please make sure to work with a tax professional to collect and calculate your taxes properly. QuickBooks allows you to generate one big invoice every two weeks using the statements provided by Walmart. You do not have to list all of the orders in such invoice, just the value that was paid to you so it is much less time consuming. With this method, you do not use QuickBooks for inventory tracking, so you do not need to add any products. In this example, I created an invoice for sales on Walmart for a specific period. $129 was the amount sent to us from Walmart for all the sales in the given period. To get this collective information from Walmart, you need to log into your Walmart Seller Center and go to Payments, tap in analytics section. Here you can download a report for a given period. These reports are generated every two weeks, so if you decide to use this method of bookkeeping, you will be adding this data to your QuickBooks twice a month. These reports can also be helpful for advanced bookkeeping, so make sure to save them somewhere on your hard drive and keep the names of statements consistent with your QuickBooks invoices. Don't forget to check the link in the description if you need more comprehensive steps and advanced guide for bookkeeping Walmart sales on QuickBooks.